Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Just from MLB Baseball Blogs. I'm here with Tim from the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. Tim, what's going on, man? Nothing. I'm happy to join you today, Justin. Yeah, today, guys, we got some news. The Oakland Athletics fire their coach Bob Green, and now they're bringing in coach Bob Melvin. Tim, what is your thought on this? How will this affect the A's? Well, I mean, really, if you look at it, the A's have underachieved this season. They're in fourth place in a very mediocre division. They are 27 and 36. So I think if you look at the A's, it will affect them to a level. But the bottom line is you really have to question, especially offensively, if the talent is there. Yeah, I mean, the Seattle Mariners are even content to be in first place right now. I think, what, the two games back from first place from the Rangers? Everybody's saying, oh, the A's have a chance. The A's are going to have a chance. Everybody thought that the A's going into the season are going to win the West. And I even said that the A's could possibly win the West. But with the coaching change right now, with Bob Melvin being fired from the Diamondbacks, I don't think that this is going to happen. Tim, are the A's still going to be contenders in the West with this new coaching change? I think the A's will be right there. I think this division is not good enough for any one team to separate. I think the Rangers are obviously still the best team in this division, and the A's really missed out. And while, while the Rangers had a few guys out, including Josh Hamilton, not making a run at this division. The bottom line, though, is they got to start scoring more runs. And their run differential is minus 15. Runs per game, and they're 14th in the AL. Batting average, they're 13th. Their whole team's hitting 238. Home runs are 14th, and on base percentage are 12th. I mean, they're not getting it done with the bats, and when you don't get it done with the bats, you expect your pitchers to really pick it up if you're actually going to contend. And they are going to contend, I'm sure, but the bottom line is even though their pitching is very good, They've had doubt. They've lost Dallas Braden for the whole year, and we've even seen now Brett Anderson has is like coming back to earth. So their pitching isn't amazing enough to carry them to the playoffs without some help from the offense. Yeah, well, Brett Anderson has actually got injured again, and he's supposed to be either day to day or possibly could have surgery. So I don't. How will that affect the pitching rotation? Well, I mean, if Brett Anderson's gone, you still look at two legit starters with Gio Gonzalez and Trevor Cahill. I don't know. I mean, I think if you look right now with this current roster, the A's need to go make a move, and it really can't be for pitching. You cannot justify making a move for pitching, even if you lost Brett Anderson for a couple weeks. you got to go make a move offensively if you really want to contend, and you can't wait until the deadline because by then you'll be out of it. I have a lot of hype for Trevor Cahill since he's your pick for the Cy Young this year. All right, Tim. Will Bob Melvin send this team to the promised land in the playoffs? Not this year. Um, I think he'll be back there next year. He's not the type of guy that you bring in for one year and then you just say, oh, okay, see you, you were just in time. He's going to be a coach for He'll get at least two or three seasons, I think. So... I think in the next couple of years, it's certainly possible. We'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, to wrap everything up, Tim, who will win the West this year? Texas Rangers. All right, guys, so there you go. I even have the Texas Rangers. I'm agreeing with Tim there. Guys, how well will the Oakland Athletics do? Can Bob Melvin do something for this team? Can Brad Anderson come back? We'll all see what happens in, this, in the future of this season as the season progresses. I'm Justin. That's Tim. We'll see you later.